Most of us have wondered, what if about the choices we made in our lives? Perhaps you imagine of a different career, a different way of life. Can you make change happen? There is a strategy that works well, if you're willing to embrace the power of the pause, a temporary stop, a break, a breath. Take time to assess and reflect, to learn and grow. I believe in the power in the pause because I've been there more than once. Let me share lessons on a pause that set me on a new path. I had a successful 25-year career in banking. I particularly loved working with women-owned businesses and nonprofits. I have a passion for the important work of our nonprofit organizations. I kept thinking, I could do more to support their success. And then I had this higher purpose, and I needed to spread my wings out wider and deeper, and I long wanted to start my own business. So I took six months to figure out what, what this business might look like. I made time in my pause by getting up earlier, staying up late, and used a whole lot of sticky notes. They were all over my house. I made this project a top priority of my time. I turned down many social invitations and events. Then, one day, my business formula literally just popped into my head. Companies plus causes equal impact. That's my business. I knew by matching corporations and nonprofits in authentic partnerships would create lasting change for our companies, our causes, and our communities. It is at the intersection of my strengths and passion. Then, I took the big step and founded my own business. Why did I need a pause to do this? What did the pause give me? It provides the space and time for reflection and self-assessment. A pause simply isn't free time. You need a plan and a process to make the best use of it. Answer questions like, what brings you joy? What are your strengths? What is your passion and purpose? These answers require data gathering from others as well as your self-reflection. So how do you get started? I came across a car commercial that called upon us to start your impossible. Because you don't need to be amazing to start, but you need to start to be amazing. Start to be amazing. What amazing things can you do, you want to do? Send out a survey. I sent out a survey to 40 people, and I asked one simple question. What do you believe my top three qualities are? These people were friends, families, clients, colleagues, and associates. I was amazed with the feedback I received. I even kept track of all the answers in my journal. Begin journaling. Write what's in your heart. Make notes of the things that you want to do and things that you are no longer willing to do. Set up pilot projects to see if your business model is effective. Even if you do this pro bono, it will be well worth it. Ask for help. This can be a tough one. Have coffee with friends and mentors to gain their feedback. Be real and vulnerable with them. Take a few vacation days for a retreat. I did all that while I was working full time. I broke the routine, I rewrote the script, and I became an entrepreneur. There is great energy in starting something new. You may think you have no time for a pause. If it is a priority, you will find the time. Life sometimes hits you with unwanted experiences, things that are not in your control. And that's where I believe the power of the pause is needed most. An unexpected, horrific event brought me to another pause. Every parent's worst nightmare. On March 4th, 2021, Two police officers knocked on our door to tell me that my beautiful 19-year-old daughter, Madison, 
passed away in a car accident. She was just leaving work. My life just stopped. This moment set me on a painful journey. Our culture does not pause with grief. It has not done a good job of teaching us how to help others in grief, especially when the loss is an out-of-order death. It is not okay or fair to lose our children before ourselves. Life sometimes hands you a shitty set of cards, and you have to deal with the cards that you're dealt. People have said to me, how do you get up in the morning? I can't imagine. I can only imagine. It was God's plan. Or they say nothing at all because the grief is too close to them. If it can happen to Effie, it can happen to me. And the truth is, you will experience grief that is not in your control. So what do you do? Embrace it. Understand it. No, there are no rules. There's not one answer or some boxes you need to be checking off. I've learned on this journey, consistency and compassion are at the top of my list. Family and friends staying with me on this journey almost one year later means more to me than I can ever express. Still reaching out to say, how are you today? Still receiving cards from a friend every few weeks telling me she loves me and she's sending me hugs. Still willing to listen to me cry and bitch with frustration and not say a word to fix any of it. Grief doesn't go away. I needed a pause. The space and time to grieve, to remember and discover who I will become. I'm still in this pause today, discovering a new me, a new mother, a new wife, daughter, and friend. What will my life look like after losing Madison? I still don't have the answer to that question. It is all so hard and painful. I am learning while in this pause. New ways to connect with Maddie, our new language to communicate to each other hearing and seeing all her beautiful signs that she gives me. Madison reassuring me, she's right here with me. Learning how to stay in the moment and be present, how to cope in this new reality, and making sure everyone continues to say her name, Madison. There is a poem that I love so very much, written by Amanda Gorham, American poet and activist. There is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Choose to find some light in your darkness. In a time of loss, it is customary to be told, take as long as you need to find a way forward, but we seldom hear or follow this advice in other situations. We all need a pause. To be kind to yourself, to give yourself grace and time, to be authentic, not caring what others may say or think. This is hard work. I know. I work on this each and every day. You might have heard the saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, sometimes we need something stronger than that. So, when life gives you lemons, throw the crap out of them. Whole lemons, slice lemons, throw them to the sky, to the wall, to the ground, just throw the hell out of them. I take my lemons, I cut them up, I go outside, and I throw them against the brick wall. And with each lemon, I scream, I curse, I cry over and over. Throwing lemons is therapeutic, and I highly recommend it. (laughs) What powers does a pause give you? The pause enables you to be still, to calm the waters, turn down the noise, and literally take a breath. 
The pause allows you to organize your thoughts and your feelings about your career, your relationships, your priorities, your life. The pause can be a very creative time, encouraging innovation and making change possible. Adjust to new realities in your life. Seek for people that have had the same experience as you. This has been the most helpful for me on my journey. Focus on the good around you. Feel gratitude. Fill the pause with energy and action, with clarity and commitment. Re-energize and find more satisfaction in how you are living today and tomorrow. Be amazing. One of the most special gifts I receive from Madison is her journal filled with her goals and dreams. Allow me to share a piece of Madison's dream. My dream, to help people and be famous in any type of way. Everyone in the US knows who Madison E.B. is. Famous attorney, CSI job, or anything to be known in a positive way. I am Maddie of Tampa, Florida, and I'm ridiculously passionate about becoming something famous and important to help people because I can serve society more positive. I don't have it all together, but I have a plan, and I will change the world. I've been inspired to fulfill Madison's goals and dreams and create a foundation to work towards them. That is exactly what I will be doing with Madison, together, changing the world. So whether your pause is expected or not, make the time and space to reflect, to grieve, to assess. The choice is yours in how you embrace the power of the pause.